flashes here. Uh, actually, no flashes at all for Team Morph. So I think this seems to me... Oh, wow. Look at that aggressive little play there for now chasing out as nice job there by Pacifan. Able to use the jetpack to bounce on out as Myth. They have taken the site. Very, very aggressive out of the gates, quite literally. Really quick there to finish my point. Morph, they're not going to do too hot here on the attack. That's something to really keep in mind. Whereas, actually, no flashes at all. No flashes Shocking at all. Way. But... Touching. You do see, but you do see that both of them actually pick up the sage here, so yeah. that is going to be very. Uh, oh wait, but before that, Dofi Dawa will be able to take down onto the Love Family. Goes immediately for the defuse here. Very good stuff being shown for Abati, but it's not going to be enough. Myth, one last yeah, member standing nice at defenders, it will be able to win out. Very nicely done from the side of Morph here. You yeah. know, you get the idea. Okay, but um, looking at it here, I think the biggest wow. thing about a split is mainly the mid control and how the sages on each side will be able to delay quite a bit. And a look at this already. Look at this morph. Yeah, they're daring anyone to jump on top of that wall. Cud, is he going to get baited? There's the tart cover as they take their knives oh! to his cut. He's going to find one before he sprayed down. Fidel only gets another one. I thought maybe they're just going to go for a just full savage knife rush there. Just keep on going through on through. But in the end, it's going to be morph still with the uh, defender's advantage. The spike is getting planted here. B again. It's We'll see here. Morph, again, we see them play incredibly defensively. They don't have any interest in defending this B take as Nugent will be able to punish Fat Penguin who was peeking over from the rafters. All right, so we do see here coming in from Kurt. Morph right now may actually go into a very interesting spot as mm. he decides to go to his tower. Again, look at this. Oh. Look at even where the enemy sage is located as Morph. Now they're going to go for the retake. A great wall, though. We'll keep that enemy sage outside of sight here for a little bit longer. As she's saying, let me in, let me in. Yeah, I'm supposed to be on the other side of this thing now. She will now get the entrance onto site. Finds a kill onto one. Famous as well with the explosive pack. We'll be able to blow up Boom Barappa, but Parafan is going to be able to delete that sage who was now trying to flank. Now it's down to the 2v1. 2v1 here and not gonna be enough for Morph as a myth will be able to take this round away of range decides to go for the pain oh, shells he, he does have that showstopper anybody. though hound you gotta be careful oh for yeah that. he does and that's something that they have to be very wary of here especially considering that if they decide to get very very clumped together i do like the fact that uh, they are going to be rushing they might actually go for this retake on to b and yeah. this is where most of the fights may actually slow it down patiban decides to go for for the pain shells slows down members of myth by quite a bit uh, there goes the smoke as well as the wall like you said the aggressive player yeah. the the how to how do i say this uh, oh wait but before that the oh, famous gets They're taken the down side, but they need to start defusing now though that bomb continues to the myth actually use the sage wall in a very aggressive manner to stop the push it's very anti-push right yeah so it actually slows them down by quite a bit and also because of the sound cue that comes it actually reveals quite a lot for myth to basically hold on to some of these angles and readjust but looking at how morph has been doing here it could be a very interesting game because it's going to be two for two thus far we'd like to see how morph we'd like to see actually morph try to steal this a little this bit ahead. Be a oh, oh that no, was they, checked, they looked away too quickly two. Ooh. wow fidel is going to get two before being picked off there by new gen a very very big win there but it's already popped off there three dead on the side of myth versus the two for Morph as they will not be able to force them outside of the heaven but the spike actually being rotated on through Rays is not going to find anyone here on their long journey out from A through now B markets into lower and mid site and the bomb is being rotated over here. Brimstone could be very very caught off guard. I don't think he's going to expect to be coming from defender spawn hmm, 30 seconds This left. is going to be something of a wild card here from the side of heaven, myth. That could be a problem. With a I'm surprised they're not sending anyone to clear out heaven. Everyone's still just holding their ground. They've completely relinquished. Look at this. No one contesting the sites right now, Hound. No one contesting I, them at I all. Am, I am just as confused as you are, to be honest. New Gen as well Ten as uh, Boom Burapa have been able to move to A without any, without any kind of punishment, yeah. without any kind of contention. And this immediately is very, very bad for the side of Morph here, mainly because, that yes, they do have the three-man advantage, 
advantage over members of myth. Look up picture. Everyone's walking. The bomb's planted. Put a pep in your step, boys. Let's get moving here. But no, they're playing it slow, calm, and patiently. As the two members of myth are going to rotate into you. Having this is where it might be popping off as the raise ulti will be used. But Famous is not going to scout anyone to use this one. They're going to shoot it over there. That's going to let them know there's not anyone there. But Nugen lets the presence be known by finding the trade onto one. It's down to the 1v1 scenario. And boom. Be a very happy raise. Getting healed up by the Sage. So they know one is going to be Rafters is in through A main. They go kind of over to B. The Sage is like, all right, I guess I'll come over. But in the meantime, Morph are able to melt two. They're on Eco here. So a three versus two is actually pretty advantageous for them. This new gen will be able to finally pick off that race. Exactly new gen picks right. up Famous. Nicely done. As we do see, the Cypher is going to be uploading. As Oh, it's going to be the Love Family wow. that takes it down. The Love Family with four on. To light a huge pick here out of the Brimstone. And that will be the A site control just given over. Although they're going to no, know it's actually Freya who gets the pick, and now this is going to be a very bad push. Myth are going to be running probably into a lot of trouble here as Control of Heaven is completely secured here for more. Alright, so we do see that left. it is going to be a smoke onto Raptors. I don't know whether or not this is going to be a very wise choice for the side of oh, Myth, but it seems wow. that they're making it work somehow or another here. Oh, another one by New Gen. New Gen right now definitely going to be taking out another. Excuse me, Party Pit is going to take out yeah. uh, onto Freya. There goes the Patience onto Cut. I don't think Cut will be able to make anything work out here. May consider saving this out. Yeah, they're going to be in some trouble here. That's exactly right. The save might be deemed necessary. 1v4 very unlikely as he continues to just lurk on through the site they might be peeking him though as now they're going to make the call to back up Myth they as well would be do well to, to maybe look for an exit frag but if they can't find one it's not really anything to sweat about it so uh, they're very very happy now to get five rounds in a row there's only going to be one rifle out on the side here of Morph at least one rifle with armor that swayed more from deciding to go for, for any further action as Nugent's going to find his second pick with the operator this round uh, sets up for a defense here in the back of sight and this should again be myth just taking this round fairly uncontested again I, again i think morph this their strategy works on all the other maps except for this one yeah, it does try to work out. Oh, but Boom Barapa will be able to take no Freya here. Two members left. And it might be a flawless run for Myth if they keep this up. Maybe it might be another save here yeah, more from fun. the side of Morph. I think it should be wise from Kurt as well as the Omen to actually just not go for it. But I think this might be an opportunity to get an exit frag yeah. from Cud. You'll see here. It's oh, his no. Not very well placed, unfortunately. Cud is going to lose that rifle and we need to make sure to evacuate the site. Fat Penguin holding down uh, and hunkering down here rather in the mid lane. Uh, I don't think they're going to be able to scout him as the entire team gets together. The group picture there. Push the tempo against more on the attacking side. Oh wow, my goodness. Good Fat start. Penguin takes two. Yeah, that's a really good start here. He's using a teleport straight into the slow war. But no, no, I think a big difference is is this Brimstone. I don't think the Brimstone really gets uh, much accomplished. This map is cut. There we go. Three kills here on the thrifty round. It's going to be absolutely huge here for Morth. That'll go on full buy here for the next round as now they should have at least two or three guns now having taken a lot of control. Two. Two guns, it looks like, as yeah. they're going to be able to recover the lurker. The lurker's gone from long, and maybe the lurker's gone here from B. But it will be the call to head here over to this B site. Uh, we do have some control of heaven here, but mostly mid lane control here for the side of Morph. So they still could be in some trouble, as the Jets ulti will now be used to try and get into this site. Uh, but now they know. Oh, nice. Fat Penguin will be able to take down a new gem. Boom, Barapa will be able to take down another one. Thrifty goes over. Something here, but we'll see. This is going to be a very important round, but Myth already up to six. And like I, like I say, you really just need five on this half, especially with their lineup, with the Cypher. I think Myth, I, it's too early to call here, but they're setting themselves up beautifully here for the switch. Well, we still have two more rounds after this one here. It's the Operator shot. It's going to miss somehow so many targets. A target rich environment, and they're going to miss too many. Now, death from above now, as it is going to be the uh, man from heaven finding a few heroes before Nugent is able to land the Operator shot to the face of Kud. As Patafan, not going to find anyone there it, waiting in screens. It's a 3v2 here in favor of Myth, and they set themselves up very nicely here to hold on to the A. A nice resurrection there coming in from the side of Myth, if I'm not mistaken, to get back uh, Boom Barapa, if I'm not mistaken. Or, oh wait, I may be mistaken on who she resurrected, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was the raise i think uh, for the side of myth oh now we do see fidel wow as well getting the 
uh, res oh, on uh, to raise as well. Showstopper so is going to have the map on open, but he gets the kill on the new gen there. And Screens, it is going to be someone uh, looking down. Oh, we do see Famous there. We'll be able to take the party point on the kill feed. There is going to be a three-man push, a four-man push actually coming in. But we do see the ultimate coming in from Boom Burapa on to the side of A. So this is going to be very good. We'll be able to get that plant in on onto the A-side corner, closest towards screen. A back is still re relatively open as screens will have the omen and heading towards defender spawn. A final one is going to be at mid-bottom heading towards B-link. We can see still on board here with the Love family as Myth have now gotten the plant here. They are setting themselves here very nicely. We we see Cud over in B, but uh, they're not really going to find anyone there. Just hoping to save and try and make a difference here on this uh, final round upcoming. But eight to three, maybe even eight to uh, eight to four, even is still a really big win here for the defenders on split. All right, so we do see Myth now gonna be just holding on to us what they oh, do. Wow, Cut will be able to take down. Wow, it's been oh, no. burned into our memories now here, Hound, as we're gonna be on board still with the Love Family, but Fidel now trying to hold this corner up to the wall goes the Love Family and down goes Fidel. Wow, says thank you very much for the lift, my friend. Jet looking for the killer, nearly getting sprayed down. They're lucky to not take any hits as now it's gonna be Myth looking to try and secure this ninth round, which puts them in a very, very strong position. All right, looking at how Morph is going to be moving around. The map is in the way again. All right, it's gone. So we do see Cut right now holding on with the operator, switching over towards Freya here, moving towards screens, trying to get maybe a semblance of information, not going to be getting anything at all. It's going to be a 3v3 with a bit of a rush towards B, yep. and that could be um, a win here for the side of myth it could before the spot. Though. We still have this operator on oh, yeah, great position as well be, by the raid, who's going to be able to listen to any footsteps, but they're not going to trust that intel, actually. They're going to make the rotations. I do like this call, though. They're going to be sweeping the map with both of these rotations, and now they should know. Yep, the jet now going back to B, but they've already lost crucial time, and that's time myth can use to set up the defense here. They will be approaching here from two separate Five angles. Oh, uh, make that only one now, as it's going to be cut up in heaven, trying to find anyone in back of sight as there's going to be the res as well making this a 4v2 they really want this ninth round hound they really want it and i think that that's just going to help them a lot they will be able to concede a few rounds uh, whether it's early on but they don't want to be uh, losing that out very good use of the Roomba there yep, just to indeed. get some information boom buddy getting sniped by Cud who sees three enemies oh! there nearly lining up for the double he's gonna find only one but traded back down immediately after just based already on the round score i mean not even taking the eco into account for more there we go the bit of aggression here full by now especially with the uh smg here is able to get a really really good bit of uh damage in all right, oh my goodness, we do see Myth right now losing out two members here. But it seems that Myth Master will be able to get the pump and dump on to Morph. As we do see uh, that it is going to be Fat Penguin that goes for the spike drop. Will it be enough though as he does hold on towards this 2v1 situation? Much too now. Oh, spots oh. it out. Going to be at A back here. As one is going to go for it, Beautiful and it's not going to be deep. enough much to will be able to take him down with the Stinger beautifully onto Fat Penguin, and it is going to be the ah, round for the yeah. side of Myth. I like this, giving even the ultimate point here over to the Sage. They know that can really be the difference maker here in one bit, as they have nine flawless rounds for them to consider. Morph cut right now in a very hard spot, has to yeah. crawl towards the mail room here, but nothing is going to be punished. We do see smokes from the side of morph being dropped down on to a mail room as well as a mid onto ropes i think that's going to not be that oh. much of an issue but famous right now getting into a fight with myth yeah Patiban. and this is this is like a really difficult situation more find themselves in. Uh, oh nice job there to cross slow down and lit up but still alive there is cud will actually get the kill here onto myth that should make a, a rather make that be a lot easier to take there is still actually a sage still holding here in a very 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 peculiar situation, but Fidel Wow is able to pick him off, and a very, very nice entrance into the B site. Beautifully done here by Morph. That will be their fourth round here for them. Unfortunately, as I was saying, 
Myth are still going to have plenty of money to play with here. They're going to have enough for a full rebuy, and um, even maybe they can actually afford to save to make sure they can get even more rounds in a row. Stack up that loss bonus just to make sure they're capped for their eco. Like I said, it's uh, we're out of the group stage, so the round difference bonus doesn't matter anymore. It's all about getting this win. Are you really willing to give up maybe two rounds now? Uh, probably not. I think if you're Myth, you just want to get it over with and, and full buy here, but uh, something to consider here as we will be saving on the Cypher. All right. Rather, rather interesting to note that Morph right now is going to be able to get the, uh, this round, but still, eight rounds flawlessly. Morph has got to play it like that every round now, you know? Has yeah. got to make sure that everything works for them in uh, the best way possible. We do see that Morph has been able... But uh, it, it's it's kind of a forced situation here, so I don't know if I necessarily agree with this, but they will at least have that round bonus to work with. Yeah, I hope that they will be able oh. to actually cinch this out, but Patipa now opens up onto Freya. This is going to be a very interesting yeah. turn of events, see? Yeah, Morph is already into A, though they just were able to find the Lurker, a 4v4 scenario now as Cud is able to trade one away. Myth. They don't have the best weapons here to contend with this, but they do have the knives, at the very least, of our Sage to try and dispatch of this push. All right, as we're going to be seeing it here, going to be one of those fights between these two teams. It's going to be 4v4, 12, man, 12 rounds in. Oh, oh my nice. goodness, new gen onto one, but it's not going to be enough at Blackman. We're going to take him down. Bartipan with the showstopper onto Fidel. Wow, well, famous, take it down, Mushroom. Oh. This is good. He's like, I can go in a bit later yeah, as Mushroom. Boy. He's going to at least hear one, at least two now. Another Sage Wall going up here from Morph. It's going to force Cut along the long, or force to take this more scenic route here no through the site. Oh, he could be in some trouble, but actually the Sage is not peaked. They might not know the Sage is here, Hound. Exactly, and that's the thing that I feel that's going to be very interesting, very good. Oh, oh no, oh, come on, get him! Oh, Cut gets, gets, no. gets, gets two, oh. onto Mushroom, onto New Gen, tries to get another one. Love Family will be taking him down, and there goes Fat Penguin onto Party Pen, and it's going to be a 1v4 fight. More <laughs> coming back into this fight. Yeah, I don't know. I think Myth is, I don't want to say they're playing with them here, but the double Bucky strat there is, is definitely a little bit questionable. Nice shot there from the Love Family. You can actually get some really serious eco damage going that's gonna be a 3k for him he will not get the 4k famous instead that makes that 13th round so much easier to take even if you are gonna be ill-equipped you just can't let them get that ult charges off again so that could be the difference maker here right that is gonna be something to take into consideration yes your eco but also your your spell availability here if we can call it that is. okay they go they're, they're using two of them here actually voluntarily maybe even a third the rocket fuse is not gonna be able to last long enough for him to find a kill smoking off but they still have one insight it's the omen lurking around they're gonna be here in the bomb being planted, the Boom Barack getting one, the spike getting dropped. That Penguin, he came here to do one thing, and that's to plant that bomb. And he is going to get that one done, but unfortunately, now the defuse, no one can actually really afford to stop this one. The enemies might be revealed, but it's not gonna matter. They're gonna be able to stick that one. Boom 